A New Beginning Chapter 1, The Move Emma was an 18-year-old girl who lived in a small town. One day, her parents told her they were moving to a big city because of her father's new job. Emma felt nervous but also excited about the new adventure. On the day of the move, Emma packed her things and said goodbye to her friends. She promised to stay in touch with them. The car ride to the city was long, but Emma enjoyed looking at the changing scenery. She saw fields, forests, and finally, the tall buildings of the city. When they arrived at their new home, Emma was amazed. The city was full of tall buildings, busy streets, and many people. Their new apartment was on the 10th floor, and Emma loved the view from her window. She could see the city lights and the bustling streets below. Chapter 2 The First Day of School Emma's first day at her new school was both exciting and scary. She didn't know anyone and felt a bit lost. But she was determined to make new friends and do well in her studies. In her English class, the teacher, Mr. Johnson, asked everyone to introduce themselves. When it was Emma's turn, she stood up and said, Hi, I'm Emma. I just moved here from a small town. I love reading and painting. After class, a girl named Lily came up to Emma. Hi, Emma. I'm Lily. I love reading too. Do you want to have lunch together? She asked. Emma smiled and said, Yes, I'd love to. During lunch, Emma and Lily talked about their favorite books and hobbies. Emma felt happy to have made a new friend on her first day. Lily introduced Emma to her other friends, and soon, Emma felt like she belonged. Chapter 3 New Friends Emma and Lily quickly became good friends. They spent their lunch breaks together, talking about books and their favorite hobbies. Lily introduced Emma to her other friends, and soon, Emma felt like she belonged. One weekend, Lily invited Emma to a local art gallery. Emma was thrilled because she loved painting. The gallery was full of beautiful artwork, and Emma felt inspired. Do you paint? Lily asked. Yes, I do. I love it, Emma replied. You should join the art club at school. We meet every Wednesday, Lily suggested. Emma decided to join the art club. She met other students who shared her passion for art, and they often worked on projects together. Emma felt happy and more confident every day. Chapter 4 The Art Competition One day, Mr. Johnson announced an art competition at school. The theme was its new beginnings. Emma decided to participate. She wanted to paint something that represented her new life in the city. Emma spent many hours working on her painting. She painted a beautiful sunrise over the city skyline, symbolizing hope and new opportunities. When she finished, she felt proud of her work. On the day of the competition, Emma was nervous but excited. She saw many amazing paintings from other students. When it was time to announce the winners, Emma held her breath. The first prize goes to Emma. Mr. Johnson announced. Emma couldn't believe it. She walked up to the stage to receive her prize, feeling proud and happy. Her friends cheered for her, and she felt grateful for their support. 
Chapter 5, A Bright Future Winning the art competition gave Emma a lot of confidence. She continued to work hard in school and pursue her passion for painting. She also made many new friends and enjoyed exploring the city. Emma realized that moving to the city was a new beginning for her. It was a chance to grow, learn, and experience new things. She was excited about the future and all the possibilities it held. Every evening, Emma would sit by her window, looking at the city lights and thinking about her journey. She knew that with hard work and determination, she could achieve her dreams. Chapter 6, Challenges and Growth As time went on, Emma faced new challenges. The city was different from her small town, and sometimes she felt overwhelmed. The noise, the crowds, and the fast pace of life were all new to her. One day, Emma felt particularly homesick. She missed her old friends and the quiet of her hometown. She called her best friend, Sarah, and they talked for hours. Sarah reminded Emma of all the reasons she had to be happy and encouraged her to keep going. Emma decided to focus on the positive aspects of her new life. She explored new places in the city, tried different foods, and attended various events. She discovered a love for photography and started taking pictures of the city. This new hobby helped her see the beauty in her surroundings. Chapter 7, The Art Club Project In the art club, Emma and her friends decided to work on a big project together. They wanted to create a mural for the school, something that would represent the diversity and spirit of the students. Emma was excited about the project. She suggested they paint a large tree with branches that represented different cultures and backgrounds. Each branch would have symbols and colors from various countries, showing how everyone was connected. The art club members loved the idea and they all worked together to bring it to life. They spent many afternoons and weekends painting the mural. It was hard work, but they enjoyed every moment. When the mural was finished, it was unveiled at a school assembly. Everyone admired the beautiful artwork, and Emma felt proud of what they had accomplished. The mural became a symbol of unity and diversity at the school. Chapter 8, Graduation and Beyond As the school year came to an end, Emma and her friends prepared for graduation. It was a time of mixed emotions. They were excited about the future but also sad to be leaving school. At the graduation ceremony, Emma gave a speech. She talked about her journey, the challenges she had faced, and the friends she had made. She thanked her teachers and family for their support and encouraged her classmates to follow their dreams. After graduation, Emma decided to attend art school. She wanted to continue developing her skills and pursue a career in art. Her parents were supportive, and she felt ready for the next chapter of her life. Emma's time in the city had taught her many valuable lessons. She had learned to be resilient, to embrace change, and to appreciate the beauty in everyday life. She knew that with determination and hard work, she could achieve anything she set her mind to. Chapter 9 A New Adventure Emma's first day at art school was filled with excitement. She met students from all over the world, each with their own unique style and perspective. The classes were challenging, but Emma loved every moment. She spent her days learning new techniques, 
experimenting with different mediums, and working on her portfolio. Her teachers were inspiring, and she felt motivated to push herself further. One day, Emma's photography teacher announced a competition. The theme was city life, and the winner would have their work displayed in a local gallery. Emma decided to participate. She spent weeks taking photos of the city, capturing its energy and diversity. When the competition results were announced, Emma was thrilled to learn that she had won. Her photo, a vibrant street scene, was displayed in the gallery, and she received many compliments on her work. Chapter 10, The Future As Emma continued her studies, she thought about her future. She dreamed of becoming a professional artist and sharing her work with the world. She wanted to inspire others and show them the beauty she saw in everyday life. Emma knew that the journey ahead would be challenging, but she was ready. She had learned to embrace change, to face challenges with courage, and to follow her passion. With her friends and family by her side, Emma felt confident and excited about the future. She knew that every new beginning was an opportunity to grow, learn, and create something beautiful.